All right, this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with an Aries. Pisces dealing with Aries, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. The ones who are dealing with an Aries, we're going to be pulling four cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Single jumping cards only, Spirit, you know how I roll. Now, these could be messages from you, Pisces, to the Aries, or from Aries to you. Keep in mind, not every single reading will resonate with you every single time. This is going to be for uh, September through September 3rd through the 10th, all right? I remember every detail of that day. More messages, please, for Pisces dealing with an Aries. Keep in mind, these energies can always be reversed. Flip-flop it according to your situation. Don't try to make it make it fit. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. I am not a... Ooh. I am not available. Somebody here may not be available and they remember every detail of that day. Damn. All right. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this could have been a rebound. All right. Somebody here may have been on a break from somebody. They weren't available. Um, and you, you or this person may be saying, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Like this person, it's a rebound. <laughs> right. All right, I am becoming a better person. So somebody here is working on becoming a better person. They may have did some shady shit. All right, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So somebody still has the other person on their mind. Um, somebody's thinking, remembering every detail of whatever this day was um, between the two of you. All right, let's get four cards from the universe. This is from the Rebel deck for Pisces. This could be a message that you may need to hear, Pisces, or that Aries may need to hear. All right. Let's see, four cards, please, from the Rebel Deck, Last Shuffle. All right, Pisces dealing with Aries. Pisces dealing with Aries, thank you. So we have, get the fuck outside, move your ass. <laughs> your body is pissed at you, so you may need to go outside, get out into nature, go do some things, go for a run, go for a jog, go work out, go swim, go hike, go bike, I don't know, go do something. All right. Or this is Aries. Maybe Aries needs to, right? Um, if you think someone is lying, they are. All right. So somebody here definitely lied about something that could have been about whether they were really single and available. All right. They could have used you as a rebound. You could use them as a rebound or something to that situation uh, may be significant. All right. But someone is definitely thinking about the other person, trying to become a better person. Um Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world. So do it. All right. So don't talk about it. Be about it. All right. Complaining about shit never fucking works. All right. It's, you know. Yeah, do it. Go ahead and do it. Ah, look, get it. Okay. <sighs> Love. Uh, get some, give some, it will cheer your ass up, all right? Leo and Pisces also got this card. Could be dealing with someone who has Leo, Aries in their chart, or Pisces, Leo in their chart, or something to that nature. All right, and believe what you see. Wow. Face reality or fucking live in la-la land. Choose bravely. So if you've seen the signs, um, red flags, believe, believe what you see. And only half of what you hear. All right, love. Someone here may need to get some, give some sexual frustration, sexual tension. All right, so let's move on to your tarot reading. If those messages did not resonate, does not mean that the rest of the reading will not resonate with you. So first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. The one dealing with an Aries. Thank you guys for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. Personal readings you guys have set up. I appreciate you guys oh so much. Uh, anything you need to know about me is in the description box or in the community tab. So with that being said, let's jump on in. Pisces dealing with Aries. All right, first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. Keep in mind that the energies can always be reversed. Take what side is yours. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. So Pisces overall energy, please. Pisces overall energy, the ones dealing with an Aries. Single jumping cards only, spirit. Thank you. Oh, shit, Pisces. You busting out as the Empress, like... Bitch, I know my word. <laughs> All right, so Taurus, Libra, and energy, you may have that in your chart. You could be a mother, a baby's mother. You may even be pregnant. Or you're just giving birth to new ideas and dreams. All right, time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. So Pisces, you are in a very abundant 
growthful, is that even a word? Growthful energy. All right, show me Aries overall energy, please. Overall energy, please, for Aries. Keep in mind, this is just until September 10th. All right, um, Aries, show me Aries overall energy. Aries overall energy, please. Four of Pentacles. So this person may be holding back um, their time, their energy, their resources. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give and receive money, time, or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black and white and being charitable. So this person, I feel like they could be kind of holding back their time, their energy, whatever it is. They may be trying to conserve or save up some money as well. They could even be penny pinching. Doesn't have to be. Could just be one of those things I named off. So let's see. What is Pisces emotions? Show me Pisces emotions, please. The ones dealing with an Aries. So we have the hermit. All right. So going within, self-reflecting. You may be staying to yourself. Um, time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shining your light. As an example to others, seek out or become a spiritual mentor and self-discovery. So in your emotions, I feel like you're, you're staying to yourself. I'm getting introvert vibes, all right? But I feel like you are also very nurturing, caring, kind. You're abundant, okay? Giving birth to your ideas and your dreams. A good mother, a good parent, a good spouse. Uh, whatever it is that you do, I feel like you're very good at it. You're also someone who's very wise, Virgo, Taurus, Libra energy here. Um, you may also give good advice, with this mother, you know, this empress, the mother of the tarot energy is your overall and the hermit and your emotions. You may, um, you may also just be keeping your emotions to yourself, but I feel like you have a lot of love. All right. So show me Aries. What is in their emotions? The one's dealing with a Pisces. Aries, please. Have the two of cups and the two of swords. Oh my gosh. And I want to roll my chair off this rug because then I can't get it back. Okay. So two of cups, two of swords. Someone here may have rose colored glasses on when it comes to like some type of a romantic relationship or a soulmate connection. All right. They may be like not making a choice or a decision about love or about a relationship. Okay. They may be holding back. Show me Aries. What is in their emotions, please? Aries. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person may have earth in their chart as well. Um, and their emotions, generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, the love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, the love of art and beauty in a sensible approach. So in this person's emotions, I feel like they do want something loyal and committed. Um, this person may also be in a more feminine energy, or you may be in a more feminine, depending. I don't know who you are. Don't get hung up on the genders, though. Um, in their emotions, I just feel like they're working on their stability, their finances, their home, uh, business endeavors. They're holding back their time, their energy. You know, they're trying to save up or manage their time and their resources wise wisely. This person could be a business owner as well, or they're just focused on their money, their job, their work. Okay. Hints that I'm becoming a better person. So let's see. Pisces next move, please. Pisces next move. Pisces next move. Window in with an Aries. What is Pisces next move? Aries next move, please. What is Aries next move? Pisces, your next move is the Ace of Wands. So having some type of passionate new start, a new spark of interest, um, an amazing opportunity. Be bold and courageous and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. So this is your next move. You're going after some type of passionate new endeavor. Could be work, love, life, whatever it is. Um, I feel like you're going after something, though, and you're having some type of spark of passion. Like, hey, I want to do this. Okay, I'm going to do this, you know? Um, this may have came after doing some like self-reflecting or going within, within your emotions. All right. Like focus, like trying to think like, what, what do I really want? What, what would make me happy? 
And I found like you found that spark, okay? You are also very abundant, very nurturing. The Empress, you have, you know, the means to grow a situation here. The Empress grows things. A baby, uh, an idea, giving birth to your dreams. And you're going after it. All right, show me Aries' next move. What is Aries' next move, please? What is Aries? Eight of Wands. So they may be communicating or taking some type of action. This Aries may have a lot going on with this Eight of Wands. Too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities. Unexpected events or rapid changes. The ability to multitask in business and travel. So this person may be multitasking business ideas, um, you know, trying to manage multiple things at this time. They may have a lot going on. Again, I'm getting business owner vibes. So show me Pisces intentions. What is Pisces intentions? Oh my goodness. Why? So your intentions, King of Cups. So... <laughs> to make decisions based out of love, using your intuition, intuition, being you're someone who's very trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden, but well-intentioned emotions, and a charitable benefactor and seeing a counselor. So Pisces, your intentions here is to make decisions based out of love. Again, man or woman, masculine or feminine energy here. I feel like you have a lot of love to give. You're someone who's very nurturing, very intuitive, very kind. You could stay to yourself, okay? You don't bother no one, but I feel like you have a new spark or a new interest here. Um, you may also be going towards another water sign or, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could even be like a father as well. Or someone you see in this light. Show me Aries intentions. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. I don't know if that was meant to come out, but anyways, I'll take it. Ten of Swords. So the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction and a melodramatic reaction. So there could have been some type of, uh, well, this is a, in their intention. So this person may be thinking about ending something that cause, cause, it may cause a lot of pain, a lot of uproar. But someone may also be deciding to, like, leave a situation, take action and, like, leave a situation. Let's get one more on this Aries intentions, please. Six of Cups and Balance wanting to show itself. Give me one more on this intentions for Aries. Five of Cups, yeah. So Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. Focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self and others. Everything happens for a reason and look for the hidden blessing. So definitely this Aries may be um, intending to end a situation. They may be holding back at this time. They may also have a lot of things going on. This could be, if this person is in a commitment, like what we're getting up here with the Oracle cards, if this person is married, the Queen of Pentacles could be someone who's married. That could be why they're holding back. This person may have a lot going on with whatever family or home dynamic or business endeavors that they got going on. But this person may actually be intending to end something. And it may cause a lot of sadness. It may feel like a betrayal. It may cause a lot of pain. But I feel like this person is trying to like leave something behind quite frankly okay um show me the outcome that went left show me the outcome show me the outcome between pisces and aries please three of wands so planning for the future there could be some worries or some fears surrounding like working together, collaborating with a third party in general. So I don't know if you're the third party, this person or someone here. There's definitely, I feel like there's three people involved in this situation. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Aries. Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone here is planning to like offer love or emotions 
Uh, I don't even know where it went, but Knight of Cups wanting to twist in my hand. So Three of Wands, uh, planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride and success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what is next. So this is like your ships coming in. You also may have an Aries Leo Sag in your moon sign. This reading may resonate with you. However, this is on your side. So I feel like there's some type of abundance coming in from past choices that were made. And I feel like you, you've been, made decisions based out of love kindness you went within and you have that new spark of interest there may even be a passionate new start that you're starting uh, okay show me the outcome between pisces and aries if i'm going to be quite honest i feel like this is a situation where i don't know man or woman whatever but there could be somebody who's like leaving their partner their long-term possible partner and maybe going towards you but it's going to cause a lot of pain on that other person's end, whatever side of whoever this is. Okay. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Aries. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Aries. Yeah, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Someone here is like planning for the long term. Someone is planning for the long term. There could be a baby. It does not have to be your blessing. A new love interest, a new beginning in love, Ace of Cups. And you have the Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. This is a very passionate, very loving new beginning. Someone here is going after what they want. They're going after this opportunity and they're doing so very confidently. Someone's planning for the long term, a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, a deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter and a new home. Yeah, someone here is definitely like embarking on something new pisces this could be you um all right tell me more about the outcome between pisces and aries please let me know if this reading is resonating with you guys smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so then we have the six of cups coming out pretty much reversed in the emperor yeah damn in the sun somebody's letting go of the past no longer feeling nostalgic about something in the past um Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. So either way, there could be someone who's, this could be some type of past energy or someone's like literally letting go of the past, six of cups in the reverse. And then the sun card, in order to be happy. And like what this ten of swords says, um, the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. The sun card. Letting go of the past in order to be happy. In order to have some type of growth in a situation. The time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to a magical opportunity. Plans that work out perfectly in gratitude to the divine. So someone here is moving towards their happiness. Um, in order to have some type of growth. They're letting go. Excuse me. Whoa. Excuse me. Letting go. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> that was me. Oh. All right. One more for the outcome between Pisces and Aries, please. One more, please, for Pisces and Aries. Yeah, release. Someone here is releasing something. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations and people that hold you back in a spiritual transformation. Someone is definitely letting go. And it looks like Aries is letting go of something. I don't necessarily see it being you, but uh, they could be letting go of something in their life and coming towards you is what it looks like to me. Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's sneaking off in order to turn this wheel to have some type of forward positive movement. All right, so let's get three Romance Angels to close out this reading. I did see the emperor too. I don't know if I said anything, but I did see the emperor and you have the empress up here in your energy. So this could be like leaving a queen of pentacles, Aries energy with that emperor that I seen. Aries energy could be leaving this queen of pentacles and going towards their empress. You know, like something that may have been very stable, a parent of a child, and I'm sorry for whoever that is for. Like I don't I don't even like saying it, but it's it's what's coming up in the card. So okay, whatever, you know. It's someone's life and everybody has free will to do what they want. And I know that sucks for whoever that queen of pentacles may be, but four of, four of pentacles, queen of pentacles, it's like someone's holding back from this person. 
they have and it's could be causing stress or they may have a lot going on but their their intentions is to end it and it may cause a lot of sadness but they're going to do it all right so let's see three cards please to close out this reading finances and career i was going to say i think i did say something about that someone may be like holding on to their finances or if this is i don't know i could keep going but um Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So somebody, exactly with the four coins, I did say something about penny pinching. This Aries may be penny pinching, trying to save up money um, in order to gain some type of financial stability themselves. Um, so if this is someone that's getting out of a situation, they may be like trying to work on their finances or get that shit in order before coming towards you. I don't know. But there's something about finances and career. Maybe these people were in business together. I don't know. The emperor can be a boss sometimes. The queen of pentacles can also be a business owner. So, yeah, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I don't really see financial issues on your side at all. So, I don't know. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. And soulmate. Wow, yes, this is your soulmate. And separation on the bottom of the deck. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Someone's separating from someone else and going towards... A soulmate energy. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonates, let me know. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.